Deontay Wilder is going to knock out Joseph Parker. Now, I already said this before, but I'm going to say it again. I don't like this card just due to the fact that Deontay Wilder and Anthony Joshua are on it but are not fighting each other. Now, who's going to win this fight? Well, let's look at their latest performances in which Deontay Wilder fought Tyson Fury for the third time. Another pointless fight in which Deontay Wilder got dropped in round three. But Wilder was really getting the better of it there. Another right hand. And then dropped Tyson Fury twice in round four. So he's doing a lot of pushing. Oh, right here by Wilder. Get on the Down goes Fury. Fury. Wilder's got to get. Down goes Fury. Now after this, Deontay Wilder went on to take more punishment, in which he got dropped again in round ten. First two fights, Wilder's got to get. Oh, right here by Fury. And they got knocked out in round eleven. Oh, strength. Fury throwing that up. And that's it. And obviously Tyson Fury won by knockout. Not this, Deontay Wilder went on to fight Robert Helenius, in which he knocked him out in round one, made it look like it was easy work. Oh, and there's a huge right hand. Down goes Helenius. Now let's talk about Joseph Parker's latest performances, in which he fought Fage Epilu, in which he TKO'd him in round one. Now after this, Joseph Parker went on to fight Simon Keen, in which he knocked him out in round three. Parker in. Woo! Another uppercut. What a shot. Now this fight is very interesting when talking about how the fight can go. Let's start off with Parker. Most believe that Parker boxes really smart and has the opportunity to outbox Deontay Water, which most believe he can and will most likely outbox Deontay Water. But let's not forget that he did lose to both Anthony Joshua and Dylan White, with both losses coming by unanimous decision. And obviously he got knocked out by Joy Joyce. But this still shouldn't take any credibility away from Parker because most believe, and even I believe, that he's still a worthy opponent for Deontay Wilder. Now, talking about Deontay Wilder, I think it's clear on why most people favor Deontay Wilder and why they like watching his fights. Because if you watch his fights, it isn't hard to notice that he has crazy amount of power. Probably one of the only boxers who has the ability to knock out anybody at any time they want. But at the same time, there is a downfall in his game plan. And that is that Deontay Wilder doesn't have the best cardio or the best boxing skills to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the high IQ level boxer. But at the same time, it doesn't really seem like he needs it since Tyson Fury was the only good boxer to beat Deontay Wilder. So unless you're Tyson Fury with his size, his durability, his speed, and his boxing knowledge, you're most likely not going to beat Deontay Wilder. But in the end, what I'm trying to say, there's only two ways this fight can go. The first way involves Parker somehow closing the distance without getting hurt and outboxing Deontay Wilder. And the other way is that Deontay Wilder goes in there aggressive here and there and somehow and eventually lands a heavy big shot on Parker and knocks him out clean.